to another episode of the Urunga News, the news show that brings the news that doesn't make the news. Today we rush you to these urgent scenes from Urunga Primary School where the school has been placed into a security lockdown. There are some serious things afoot at school. Uh, we take you there right away. It was a regular day at Urunga Primary School when... A dark shadow engulfed the grounds. It was Godzilla. Excuse me, everybody. This is a lockdown. Fortunately, not all staff members were this useless. Not at my school. <laughs> destroy buildings. Why won't they destroy? Hey, you! Don't they know we have a no giant destructive lizards on site policy? Action. Kabow! <laughs> As you can see, some pretty extraordinary scenes happening there at Yurunga Primary School. Thank goodness for those quick thinking staff and students who are on hand to get the situation under control. Now, with students due to arrive back at school next week, you can imagine that the rebuilding phase has been given the go ahead, uh, with all projects being given a fast track for approval. Uh, we take you now live to the scenes of that rebuilding process. Welcome to your yeah, there must be a bunch of random pajamas. Can you tell us what the tree do today? Well, it's a tree of wonder. Oh, you can, so this lady over here is just remembering all her dreams, right? And this is sprinkler, and that's turned on. This is what you do is like to rebuild and be fun with all the dreams. Okay, one thing I want to do this is the tree on the these works taking place, we promise to make Yurunga Primary School great again, one brick at a time. But it won't happen by ourselves. Thankfully, we have a fantastic team of education support workers. And these workers were acknowledged on the weekend as part of the International Education Support Workers Day. We take you now to the scenes where the delivery fairy was able to greet some of them. Are you getting this today? <laughs> And as you can imagine, they're not the only ones working very hard. Again, with schools due to come back next week, you can bet your bottom dollar that those coffee cups have been washed, cleaned, dried, sanitised, forks have been restocked in the staff room, and we are ready to go. One such staff member is Miss Powell, who's going to now join us for some of her undertakings in preparation for next week. Breaking news. There's a new flash at Yoronga Primary School. There's something happening... Room one and two and three. There's number one and there's room two. Now I think we're gonna go to room three. Miss Powell, Miss Powell, what's going on? Haven't you heard? No. The prep ones and twos are coming back to school on Tuesday. Well, good luck about that. I'm getting the room ready. Wow. I'm getting the dress ups ready. Ooh. And we're getting the Lego ready. Caleb's been helping me. What are you building there, there Caleb? I'm just building a train. Or trying to build a train. 
Okay, and we've got the tinkering table ready. Let's let's show everybody. Look, Jeremy, the tinkering table's ready. They can start doing hammering and putting their bits of wood together and all their safety gear is ready. And Jeremy, look at all the boxes for box construction. I bet you they'll build something. Yeah, they're going to build some great things. They'll, they'll also be able to do some painting. That sounds fantastic, Mrs. Bell. Back to you, Titty Studio. After such a turbulent week, let's cross our fingers that the weekend has some magic in store for us. On that note, let's cross now to the weather with Mrs. Powell. This week's weather is coming from my wood pile. Wasn't it wet and cold yesterday? Only 11 degrees. Today was cloudy and tomorrow is going to be cloudy as well on Saturday. And we're going to have two days of sun. But all next week, it's going to be really wet. It's been so cold that this wood is going inside. It's going to go into our fire to keep lovely and warm. And this is what I'll be doing while it's cold, sitting beside the fire. Back to you in the studio. Again, that's all we have time for this week. Thank you very much for tuning in. Stay classy, Yeronga. We'll see you next week. Come, come. So, so.